Hello and welcome back to Mac at the Movies. Today I'm bringing you another weekly movie review with the film Old. Uh, this film was released July 23rd, 2021 by Perfect World and Blinding Edge Pictures and directed by M. Night Shyamalan, who had also directed films such as The Signs, The Village, and The Sixth Sense. Uh, this film stars Thomason McKenzie as Maddox, Abby Lee as Crystal, Gail Garcia Bernal as Guy, Alex Wolf as Trent. Uh, most of you may know him uh, from uh, the film Hereditary. Uh, he was the one that popped into uh, mine, and uh, I watched this with my buddy Chase, uh, popped into our minds at first. Uh, uh, I don't know if I've seen him in anything else. I know uh, Thomason, she's been in a, a few things, uh, one of which I did uh, last night in Soho. Uh, I, I did a review on that film I know that she was in. She was also in Jojo Rabbit. But uh, to continue, uh, we have Aaron Pierre, who plays uh, the role of an online, I guess, YouTube rapper, mid-sized sedan. Uh, we have Rufus Sewell, who plays Charles and Vicky Kripes, who plays Prisca. Uh, this film follows a family as they take a, a vacation to a beach resort. And uh, while they're there, they're doing family things. Uh, you see that the vacation was more or less a, a way to get out of the house, get out of the environment before they have to tell their kids some very important information that is going to affect the family as a whole. Uh, while they're there, uh, they get the idea that they want to go do some stuff that's fun uh, for the kids, for the family, uh, and that everyone would enjoy. And the hotel advises that it would be a good idea for them to go to this secluded beach. They can go there by themselves. So they get arranged to go to this beach and when they're waiting to take off, uh, another couple of families join in with them. So uh, you get going to the secluded beach. Uh, the van driver, who's played by M. Night Shyamalan, he drops them off at this drop point and tells them how to get to the beach. When they get to the beach, they uh, start to set up, get things ready. And that's when the first instance of what's going on happens, uh, when a dead body floats up to the beach. Uh, they find her, then they realize the, uh, the character of uh, mid-sized sedan is there, and Charles, who is a doctor, believes that he had killed his girlfriend. Uh, you find out uh, in a scene prior to them getting to the beach that Midsize was there with his girlfriend that either early morning or night. So while, while they're there, he thinks that he had killed his girlfriend and is trying to get away with it or trying to find a way to get out of all the trouble that this has now caused. Uh, and so they try to keep him there while they get hotel staff and they get everything situated. They cover the body and then they just move on with their life uh, to, to try and get everything rectified. What you find out is when they try and leave the way they came, they black out and they wind up stumbling back to the entrance, uh, or well, the yeah, the entrance onto the beach. They stumble back to it and everyone's like, what happened? They're like, I don't know. We just blacked out like we got a case that, I think it's called a bins. When you uh, come up from the water too quick uh, and you get lightheaded because of the pref pressure differential to your head. And uh, so it was something similar to that. And so they can't escape. Uh, later they find when they check on the body that it's just bones. So, they start to realize that the entire time that they're there, they age two years for every hour that they're there. So essentially by the end of a the day, they will have aged almost 50 years of life. So 
they're they're trying to spend the rest of the time of this film getting off this island while things like creeping dementia uh people going blind people losing their hearing uh, just natural things that progress through age uh, happen while they're trying to escape this this beach and get back to the resort nobody knows what's going on so i don't want to leave any spoilers because it's m night Shyamalan. i don't want to take away that fun twist ending or or whatever may happen there but i definitely say check it out uh there is the um the joke uh in the film which uh which i made right as they made it on the on screen um but there are two african-american people on the island and as they're going around noticing that everyone aged the uh the character of mid-size looks over at another character and says i bet they wish they were black now don't they and uh i had made that exact same comment in, in the reference to aging when uh when i saw all that progressing so especially with this one character i believe it was crystal what was her name this this one woman that was just intensely vain about her appearance and the way she looked and her age everything like that so it, it was kind of funny to see that dynamic uh with those characters and everything like that and even some of the characters trying to make light of a very terrible situation so uh, I definitely say check this movie out. If you haven't seen it yet, uh, it is so much fun. I really enjoyed it. You get that nice twist. You, you get some things that happen during the film that make you go, what in the world? One, one thing I, I kind of guessed right off the bat and had a chuckle about. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely say check the movie out. Um, I give it a, a solid four stars out of five. Um, great film. Uh, my buddy Chase really liked it. I've not really heard much of anything bad to say about this movie. Uh, maybe a couple of just really nitpicky things said. But all in all, I thought it was a great movie. Uh, M. Night Shyamalan is one of my favorite directors. Uh, he's definitely in my top ten. And I definitely recommend any movie he does. Uh, regardless of how bad people, you know, push him as being this just odd director with weird endings. Uh, I really like his movies, and I think he's very original in all of that. So um, if you've seen this movie, jot down in the comments below what you thought about it, if you loved it or if you hated it. Uh, wh what did you think about the film? Uh, if you haven't seen it, definitely go check it out. Uh, and always be good to one another, and I'll see you next time. Bye.